I created a show about three girls trying to become flight attendants. They went through everything, tears, leaving the comfort zone and the cherished job offer. Hi there, I'm Anna, the founder of the only school for future flight attendants, Chicken or Fish. I decided to show that getting a dream job, earning thousands of dollars and traveling the world without a sugar daddy is possible. In the previous episodes, I introduced to you three heroines. Meet Olka. She wants to become a flight attendant in one of the most popular airlines in her country. But our heroine needs to stop being a tomboy. That's why I invited Olka to an expensive restaurant where we taught her etiquette. We also took a modeling class and Olka wore heels for the first time in her life. Our heroine is also vertically challenged. So in previous episodes we were solving the problem during stretching classes. And this is Lalita. She dreams of working as a flight attendant in the second most popular city in her country. Our heroine has been surrounded by airplanes since childhood. That's why Lalita decided to learn English, because without it, she won't become a flight attendant. Previously, we visited a tattoo artist. Lalita began to remove her tattoo, as airlines do not recruit candidates with visible tattoos. Our heroine also managed to conquer worrying about what others think of her. She was like a TikToker coming up to passerbys and asking them questions about the job of a flight attendant. Our last heroine is Daria. She dreams of working at an Arab airline. In previous episodes, the show participant was working on her posture, improving her English and solving the problem with a quiet voice. My acquaintance, a public speaking teacher, helped us and showed how to use our voice to impress a recruiter. And during the whole month, our heroines have been actively learning English at my online school Chicken and Fish. Each lesson is full of fun and various interactive exercises. Great atmosphere and jokes are guaranteed. We work with all clients no matter what English level they have. You can sign up for any course you wish, a general English course or a course for future flight attendants at any airline in the world. Click the link in the description box below that's just under this video and sign up for the first free demo lesson. This week I set a task for the girls to make an effective cabin crew CV. The heroines got access to my legendary video course I will fly and are studying lectures on how to craft a CV and a cover letter. What are the reasons of being a cabin crew? Let's talk about it. If you work for the Middle East Airline company, first of all, your salary is good enough and it is tax-free, so you can save money and come back later to your homeland and start your own business, buy an apartment or a, or a car, so definitely your standard of living will be better than it was in your motherland. Secondly, uh, being a cabin crew means uh, traveling and you're gonna explore this world and what can be better than drinking coffee somewhere in Paris or walking through the jungles of Bali or relaxing on the beaches of the Maldives. You're gonna see this world and you're gonna uh, have so many emotions uh, while you're traveling. You can even start your own vlog or blog because the majority of airline companies allow cabin crew uh, being bloggers. Why not? Another reason of working for cabin crew is living in Dubai or in Abu Dhabi, which is the hive of activity. And moreover, you're going to be surrounded by people from various countries and it will broaden your horizons for sure. The legendary I Will Fly course is a set of pre-recorded video lectures that you can watch whenever and wherever you want, so you don't have to join Zoom sessions. This course contains valuable information on how to prepare for the cabin crew interviews with UAE and European airlines. By purchasing this course, you will get an exclusive gift, a database of business aviation companies and secret ways to find a private jet job in another country. The I Will Fly course is not about the English language. It's all about other criteria that a recruiter looks at during an interview. English is important, but your personality type also matters. In I Will Fly video course you will learn how to pass different interview formats, role plays, cross interviews, individual conversation.
You will get review of more than 100 questions from cabin crew interviews. Also tips for psychological training to cope with crash tests and reaction tasks. Guidance on taking photos and refining appearance and body language. Templates for CV, video resume and cover letter. Set of actions to cope with the situation when you don't know the answer to the recruiter's question. Analysis of the experience when you were rejected and preparation for the next attempt to pass the interview. If you want to purchase our course, sign up for it on our website. And now it's time to take stunning photos for the CV. Today I invited three participants of the show to the photo studio because I want to make them amazing photo shots for their CVs. So guys, if you are applying for Everest, Qatar or Etihad, you need to prepare four photos. Two photos, full length photos, one in casual attire, one in business attire and two headshot photos. Again, one casual attire, one business attire. And today we are making business attire photos. And uh, I truly recommend you to go to the professional studio to make these photos. And uh, definitely you can ask your photographer to bring the laptop so that you can see the result of the photos here in the studio, not at home when you come and then you get the photos that you didn't want, okay? So for sure, ask the cameraman to bring the laptop. So, and today I'll show how it is going. Let's see. Have you heard that only 20% of participants get invitation for the interview? So how to be in this lucky number? How to be selected and be invited for the interview? Your CV and your photo, they truly matter. And today I will reveal for you secret information that will help you to make that perfect photo which is expected by a recruiter. So follow these tips. Tip number one, when you do full length photo, you need to stand straight and to look at the camera. So nothing like that, nothing like that, or like that, yeah, or like that, no way. So you should stand still, symmetry means a lot. So imagine that people from all over the world come for their interviews to work for Emirates, Qatar and Etihad. So definitely they have different appearance. And what is beauty? Hmm, it's really controversial issue. So that's why recruiters, they consider symmetry to be beauty. Let's imagine that recruiter gets a photo of a candidate and recruiter takes a ruler and folds it like this to see if there is symmetry. So the thing is that you need to be symmetrical. So if you have photo like this, like this, or even if your smile is not symmetrical, unfortunately, you will not get the invitation. Symmetry is crucial. Another thing that you need to follow is your smile. Some people, when they do photos, they have this severe face as if it's a passport photo. But here you need to show by your smile that you're a perfect candidate. And you need to smile with your teeth shown, yeah? So that a recruiter can see how perfect your teeth are. So smile like this. Another thing that you need to, to follow is uh, your body. Recruiter need to see your shape. That's why when you put your hands down, there should be a gap between waist and your hand. It should be visible. If you follow these tips, your photo will be selected and you will be invited for the interview. 
Today, we're gonna analyze mistakes when getting photos taken. Lalita did everything wrong, especially for you, to visualize all the mistakes. First of all, you should take out all extra piercings. You're allowed to wear only one pair of stud earrings, or there must be no earrings at all. As for business aviation, you can use pearl earrings, but no more than that. Now let's take a peek at the outfit of our heroine. Look at the collar. It should be hidden under the jacket. You know, I'm just like a jacket fashion expert, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, the collar should be under the jacket according to their business etiquette. Next thing is that we advise you not to wear extra jewelry. That is so catchy. Don't wear chain bracelet, anything like that. No glittering stuff, please. The main mistake that is made by candidates, their skirt doesn't cover the knees, so it's very short. It must be a knee-length skirt. Guys, purchase knee-length skirt. And the color of tights is perfect, just look. It matches the skin tone of a hand, it's a super match. And I really like the shoes, classic high shoes, but the color doesn't comply with the photo requirements. They should be black. Now let's change the clothes. Yeah, let's go. Firstly, we went in search for the perfect outfit, a shirt, a jacket and a pencil skirt, and for sure tights. It's so crucial to find the right outfit, because it will be useful both for the candidate's photo and for the interview itself, and you can also attend the airline's training college in this classic outfit. The search for clothes lasted for the whole day. It seemed to us that the perfect outfit didn't exist at all, completely synthetic, fabric bursting at the seams, not the best quality of the stitching or just an ill-fitting clothing. We went around 10 stores for sure, from luxury to cheap clothing ones. And finally, finally we managed to find the perfect outfit, but the search took the whole day. Wow, what divas I'm just looking at. You really worked hard in search for clothes. All these outfits are awesome for a party to catch attention, but are definitely not appropriate for the interview. Let's look at the common mistakes. It's crucial to attend the cabin crew interview in compliance with the dress code in order to show the recruiter that you are keen on this job and you paid so much attention to the selection of your outfit. Usually an airline even presents outfits on its official website that are recommended for the interview. Ok, let's first look at Daria's outfit. Daria, I don't recommend you wear pants, because in this case the recruiter won't be able to check whether your legs are straight, that's why choose a pencil skirt. A t-shirt isn't suitable for the interview, and the blue color is also not appropriate. I recommend you choosing white colors, the best choice is a white shirt. And remove all extra accessories, please. Olka, show your outfit. Firstly, I want to look at this masterpiece and capture it in my mind for the rest of my life. Never do like that, got it? Dear viewers, please never choose this outfit for the cabin crew interview. That's cringe and too revealing. Ladies, there must be no glitter. That's not a party. I see that you've tried hard to add the touch of official office look, but it's not what you really need. One day I will transform your outfit and showcase how it must be. Lalita, your outfit is more understated in comparison with previous ones. I definitely like the way it suits you, but I recommend purchasing it for hanging out with friends. The length of a skirt isn't appropriate, so you need to buy a skirt that will cover your knees, but not so long. And the best option is a cotton skirt, not a leather one. You've got a t-shirt with a print. But for the interview, we advise you to wear a plain white shirt. 
and uh, don't forget to remove extra rings. These tips will help you feel comfortable and pass the interview. Okay, girls, let's go. I'm gonna show the right outfits for the interview. We are gonna search for a perfect black skirt, white shirt and the classic black jacket. Today I and Christina, a makeup artist I know, are heading to a cosmetic store. Ask her to buy all the cosmetics we need for the interview, but it should be budget-friendly. So let's see whether Christine will manage to choose necessary budget-friendly cosmetics. Hi everyone, my name is Christine. Anna invited me to help transform your appearance and prepare you for the interview. So today we're gonna buy cosmetics. I looked at the prices and honestly I'm shocked, so I've got only $20 in my pocket. Is it really possible to collect cosmetics for such a price? Yeah, it's definitely possible, since the beauty market offers products of various brands, from luxury to budget-friendly ones. Therefore, I think we can easily collect a set of cosmetics for $20. We will select cosmetics that will be a great option for you to use for the cabin crew interview, photo shoot and flights. The first thing that we're gonna start with is an Estrade Foundation CC cream with a satin finish. This cream is multifunctional, so you can use it for any occasion. It has a lightweight satin texture. When you apply it to the skin of your hand, you can see the product's texture. And in the daylight, you can apply it to this cheek zone and check if its shade matches your skin. It should blend fully into the skin. Then we're gonna use a concealer by Art Visage. You should apply a thin layer of this concealer to your under eye area and to the T-zone to brighten the center of your face. And you can also apply it to your chin. A concealer should be one shade lighter than your skin tone, or it can be the same as your foundation. Let's try it, check the texture and compare it to the foundation. It's a perfect match. Yeah, true. We can also use a green concealer that perfectly hides your redness, so you can apply it to areas with redness and then add a foundation. The next product is a multifunctional Lux Visage Sculpting Powder. It combines a dark contouring powder and a highlighting powder to visually sculpt facial features. It's so convenient to take it along. It has a soft and smooth texture. Now we're gonna try a lipstick of the same brand with a universal red shade. No doubt, this one is a must-have for every flight attendant. It has a matte texture and needs some time to wait after applying, but it lasts really long during the day. Let's move to the next product, again Lux Visage. This mascara brings length and volume to your eyelashes without any flaking all day. I think it's an awesome product for hot weather and it will not flake or smudge at an interview. And to prevent your mascara from smudging on your lower eyelid, place it at the root of the eyelashes. Daria, what airline do you want to work for? Etihad. As you know, Etihad ambassadors use a purple lipstick with a sweet raspberry shade, and it will be cool if you attend an interview applying similar or even the same lipstick shade. I've chosen a lipstick by Beauty Bomb as an equivalent for Sephora 38 for you. Now we're gonna test its shade. You can see it appears quite dark, but you can make it softer and regulate the shade when applying with your fingertips. Lalita, which airline are you going to? Aeroflot. Great! Ambassadors of this airline use a burnt orange lipstick shade, so it's red, but with a little addition of orange. I picked out a lip color from 17. Let's try it. You can vary the saturation. What do you think about this shade? It's gorgeous. It's like the shade I need. Let me give you one more life hack. If you want a lipstick to last all day without smudging, before applying, tap and bounce a wet sponge with foundation onto your lips, and then you can cover a lipstick over it. Mixing a red lipstick with a lip pencil is also a great option to keep true, long-lasting and waterproof. And which airline do you want to join? I finally decided that I'm willing to join a local low coaster. 
Cool. These low coasters ambassadors choose a classic red lipstick, like their Emirates colleagues. I selected 17 and influence lipsticks for you. You can also use a classic red lipstick from Sephora, Maybelline or MAC. This lipstick has a satin finish and is easy to use, but it blends not so quickly as a matte one. And the next morning we meet with all the heroines in Christian's studio. We are going to have a masterclass on making a bun and doing perfect makeup. Olga is stunned today, as she doesn't wear makeup at all, and she's really afraid of transformation. But she's down for whatever to get a dream job in the sky. Come in, guys. Hi. 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 Christine, I bring three heroines to you. Today we're gonna take cabin crew photos. Therefore, ask you to teach them how to do makeup and create a bun. Can you do it? I'm so thrilled. Hey girls, who wanna start first? Olka, maybe you? Actually, I'm scared. There are so many brushes here, for real. I don't have so many screwdrivers in my garage. Yeah, that's a real woman's garage. <laughs> Let's take a peek at our set. Foundation CC cream, blush, sculpting powder, concealer, mascara, Red lipstick, brow brush, and a brush for drawing eyeliners. We bought this set of cosmetics at a really affordable price, just for $19. This is a basic go-to for doing cabin crew photo shoot, interview and work makeup. Olka, are you ready? Honestly not, I'm so nervous. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Wow, it's me? Yeah, it's you. Do you like it? That looks so unusual and wild. Are you going to wear dresses today? Sure. Well, I think now, due to my transformation, the airlines will queue up to recruit me. Just look at me. I'm such a queen. Gosh, I'm flawless. You know, it's so unbelievable that we paid only $20 for all of this stuff. Such a unique day, we nailed it. Speaking about makeup and bun, that's a must-have for each flight attendant. And all in all, we've learned many life hacks today, that's for sure. I have heard that Etihad records only the most beautiful flight attendants. That's why I will focus on it. And today's masterclass gave me a great opportunity to learn how to choose the right foundation, how to draw stunning eyeliners, and how to make a neat bun. Guys, let's talk about health and particularly let's discuss eyesight. So if you have poor eyesight, it means that you still can become a cabin crew. So you can work uh, as a flight attendant wearing your lenses or glasses. So it's totally fine. And uh, Arab Airlines, they are not so picky about your health. You just basically need to, to uh, declare your health history and that's it. So you have many chances to become a flight attendant even if your health is not perfect. 
And today I decided to surprise the heroines and asked our former student who already works for Emirates to share beauty tips with the girls. By the way, she's an Emirates ambassador, she's in the promotion team, and now every week she meets the best and most famous people in the world, politicians, movie stars and sportsmen. Hi, Juliana. We are happy to see you. Thank you so much that you found time to join us. As you see, I'm not alone. The reality show Divers joined me today and they are planning to become flight attendants. That's why I invited you as a former chicken office student to tell them everything about aviation and beauty, since our girls are going to attend cabin crew interviews. So let's get acquainted and let's ask questions. My name is Olka. I'm Dasha. Lalita. Hi, nice to meet you, girls. Juliana, you look so fabulous. I would like to know more about you. Please tell us about yourself, your path. Oh, thank you. I'm 24 years old from an ordinary city in Russia. I've been living in Dubai and working at Emirates for almost two years now. Before, I had been working at my original airline for one and a half years. Every time I mention my original airline, I tell everyone how much I miss it. My aviation path started in 2019 at Chicken of Fish School. Chicken of Fish lessons really helped me to prepare for interviews. As a result, I successfully passed interviews with three airlines in my country, with Air and finally Emirates. So now I'm here in Dubai and soon I will be upgraded to a business class cabin crew at Emirates. Yeah, by the way, the girls want to know about your career growth. Actually, I gave them a little spoiler that this Zoom meeting is for a reason, as you are in Emirates promotion team. Can you tell, please, after what period of time can you apply for the airline ambassador position? So, an airline ambassador is a person who represents an airline at various world-class events that take place in different countries during your layover. These events an airline hosts as a sponsor. I became an Emirates ambassador in June, after a year of working here. When I applied earlier, the airline wasn't hiring new ambassadors. After a while, the airline invited me to a private interview that nobody knew about, and I managed to pass it and become an Emirates ambassador. But I want to say that I attended my first event only five months later. This was held in Mumbai during the Cricket World Cup. This sport is very popular around the world, and many fans fill the stadiums. So we were walking around the stadium with a cup, taking photos in a VIP lounge and showcasing Emirates hospitality. On the whole, I spent two days in India and my round trip was in a business class cabin. Recently, we had another event, and I was back up, but all of a sudden they asked me to take part in it. Emirates were signing a sponsorship deal with the NBA at the airline's headquarters. This event was attended by NBA legend. Then my colleague and I headed to the next stop of this event at Desert. We represented our airline, made so many videos and photos on that day and had lots of entertainment with our star guests. It was amazing. I heard that at Emirates, at a hat, there is a fashion police. Can you detail it? What is a fashion police? Okay, let me tell you what a fashion police is. When you enter the office, you check in for your flight and confirm that you have all necessary documents. Next goes inspection of your bags. And then, in a big hall, perfectly looking employees in their special uniform meet us. These women are a fashion police. Their task is to stand there and check your look. They can make a comment not only on a messy bun that falls out, baby hair or a dark lipstick shade, but also on how a skirt fits you, is it too tight, too short or too long. If you receive some of these comments, then you should pass into the transparent cube, a fashion police notes everything down in your profile, and after that you need to solve the problem that these women pointed out to you.
A fashion police can also help you. If you head to your flight and a person makes a comment on your wrinkled waistcoat, you can iron it there. It happens that someone forgets a coat. Before the previous flight to Moscow, two of my colleagues forgot their coats. It was seven degrees below zero. So they approached the fashion police and they gave them coats. But everything is noted down when you forgot something, didn't iron your clothes and so on. So be careful. Looking ahead, I want to become one of these fashion police queens who precisely ensures the alien's image to re-establish justice. Emirates represents excellent beauty, perfectionism and attention to details. Is it true? For me, yes, it's exactly this way. Please, can you share with us how the ambassador interview process goes? Well, speaking from my experience, I had a private interview and it was forbidden to tell anyone about it. The airline sends vacancy mails and those who want to try apply for this position. And it was a private interview. The Emirates employers highlighted that we weren't allowed to resend or repost links for submitting photos, videos and so on. After the selection, where they assess your application, I was invited to the interview. It was conducted in a conference hall. There were 10 of us of different nationalities. I remember girls from England the most. Near me was a Korean girl. She was even a model in South Korea, but the recruiters didn't select her. The interview process was as follows. Each of us stood up in front of everyone and had a task to tell the rest about ourselves. The room was spacious, there were 10 candidates and two recruiters. The recruiters don't pay much attention to what you say, but they look at how you behave in public, how you answer the questions and, of course, your English level. I started to tell them about myself, my name is Yuliana, I'm from Russia, and then the recruiters asked me about my hobbies. I said that I like to sing. They proceeded asking about where I sing. I told them that there are a lot of Russian restaurants with karaoke and I like to sing there. And we went on speaking about Russian food and Russian restaurants. As you see, the recruiters were interested in Russian restaurants, food and karaoke. They look at your hand gestures, facial expressions, accent and all this stuff. Then the recruiters checked our weight, height, hairstyle, makeup and how the uniform fitted. Sure, they made notes. In three days, I received a positive answer. Julian, probably you can share some tips with the girls, as you are already a star of Emirates. So how to present yourself for a photo, how to be confident, how to behave during an interview? Sure, the first tip is not only for an interview with Emirates, of course, but with any airline you plan to attend. Please, I beg you, don't wear dresses or pantsuits. Your outfit should adhere to classic. Black skirt, white shirt or blouse, and maybe black jacket. Remember, there shouldn't be any other colors. A pencil skirt should cover your knees and be slightly tight that emphasizes your figure so the recruiters can check that everything is okay. A white shirt or blouse should be without cleavage. Your hair should be groomed in a neat bun. Your makeup should be natural and professional. It is up to you whether you want to use red lipstick or not, but your lips should be either in a nude or the right red shade. Your shoes should be classic high heels. Actually, I attended my last interview wearing shoes that I later wore on board, kind of flight attendant shoes. And the Emirates interview, I attended wearing shoes from my previous job at a regional airline. As to Emirates application requirements, you need to send two casual attire and two business attire photos. For a casual attire photo, you should wear jeans and a plain t-shirt. For a business attire photo, men should wear a classic business suit and women should wear a classic jacket, a white shirt or blouse and a pencil skirt. 
When you take photos, smile showing your teeth. That's crucial for the recruiters to check that your teeth are okay and how authentic your smile is. When smiling, don't squint your eyes, they should be open as usual. As for the body posture, you should stay straight, put your arms by your sides, but don't tighten them too much, you should look natural. And as I told you before, smile with all your 32 teeth and look straight into the camera. Don't do like that, it's not for Instagram, you know. Some candidates go to a professional photo studio. Girls, I didn't go to the studio, I just took my photos on the balcony. I had a white wall as a background, that's all. Yeah, 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 thank you so much for this interview, that was lovely. Thank you. Thanks, it was really useful. You inspire other girls to pursue a cabin crew career with your beauty, with your incredible aviation career growth. Have a wonderful flight and say hi to Emirates flight attendants. Yeah, and you say hi to Moscow for me. So let's say goodbye to Juliana. Thank you for this interview. Bye. Thank you. And in the next episode, our heroines will become even closer to a cabin crew job. They will pass the final challenges and apply for the vacancy, so you will find out whether the heroines will manage to get an invitation for the interview.